All right, guys, got a quick box to unbox. And oh, by the way, I've got Bella watching. She's my audience today, which is good. Someone actually reached out to me named Brian Adams. By the way, I love your music. Not that guy. But the fact is, is they have an animal they want to donate to the Reptarium. That would be a good animal ambassador. So roll that unboxing reel. And let's go ahead and jump right in to see what this is all about. Lots and lots and lots and lots and lots and lots and lots of paper. Just one bag here. And uh, guess what, guys? Uh, yeah, it's a zip tie. Let's get something to cut it. Shout out to the people that sent me all these clippers because I still use them to this day, especially for cutting zip ties when people ship them to me. So uh, I love them. Thank you so much. So let's go ahead and get this up here. Oh, this is a heavy one too. Uh, put that down over there and let's see what we have. This is gonna be exciting. And apparently this is supposed to be dog tame. So eventually after we get it out of quarantine, this should be a really good Reptarium animal ambassador for the future. And it's one of my favorite boa morphs of all time. That's right, this is a motley boa. Take a look at that monkey right there. -hoo -hoo. I tell you what, gosh, she's hanging onto that pillow pretty good. I tell you what, motley boas are an incomplete dominant boa that has this really dark patterning and of course has, I don't want to get too close to Bella, if you know what I mean, and of course it typically has a little bit of connecting patterning down like this. Absolutely wonderful. Again, it's supposed to be super tame. Look at those dark eyes. That's always something that you see with the motley boa. So we're going to go ahead and get this thing in quarantine for the next, you know, 60 days or so just to make sure everything is healthy and happy. And then, like I said, this can actually get worked into our educational program and on display here at the Reptarium. So thank you so much. Much. I appreciate it. Absolutely beautiful. And by the way, welcome to the vlog, Reptile Army. I hope the start of your day is absolutely incredible. And speaking of Reptile Army, you guys need to get on the front lines and join the movement. That's right, the movement to really get people to love reptiles. And you need to be our soldiers at reptilearmy.com. So go to reptilearmy.com, wear your swag, make sure that you absolutely are committed to it, getting people to absolutely love it. Again, 10% of proceeds go to USR and the rest of the proceeds go to educational things. So definitely go to reptilearmy.com and get on the front lines and join us in the movement. You know what time it is? Egg time! And that's right, it is egg time. And this is another one of those coral snows. I don't know how pink this one is, but those really pink snow corns. We have such a nice group of these guys this year, so let's see what this one is. Yeah, very beautiful female, a bunch of good eggs. So I'm gonna just kind of take the eggs out before, because if I start to take the female out, she's gonna kind of roll the eggs around. Looks like she's got a couple eggs over here as well. Beautiful clutch, I mean, wow, I tell you what. But again, you can see just how absolutely pink and beautiful these are. And the males that we used this year were really incredible males. So this year we're gonna have the largest amount of pink corn snakes we've ever produced. And again, now we're, I think I said we're into the fourth or fifth generation, so they're getting better and better each year. So I'm super excited. There are two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16 beautiful eggs. Ooh, doggy. For a first year female, not very big, 16 eggs. That is an absolutely amazing clutch. Every now and then I just have to show my sweetheart Vera Day because you guys know I love her so much. Obviously Ivy steals the show because she's so much bigger, but Vera Day is still such an amazing animal. And the truth is most people don't come to the Reptarium and handle Ivy because she's so big, but everyone can come out and actually handle Vera Day, which is pretty cool. Again, she's starting to get some size to her, which is pretty cool. And I know that in the 3.0, she's gonna have a big enclosure with a big water feature. And I'm gonna see this girl get to 15 or 16 foot in my lifetime, which is gonna be absolutely incredible. This one is a banger of a clutch right here. It's so cool to be deep in the Kluber season right now, just with all the eggs coming and look at that animal right there. It looks like a really super small clutch though, but this is a high white reverse Oka tea corn snake. What a ripper that is. I mean, that female is amazing. She is a first time girl. She is small. I'll be honest with you. Some of our other girls that have been similar size have had 15 or 16 eggs. It looks like a very small clutch right here. So I'm gonna go ahead and just take these guys out. It does look like we've got one little slugger here, but the rest of the eggs look really nice. This little slugger right here, not much we could do with that. Maybe we'd feed it to an Aki monitor or something like that. But there's two, four, five eggs. That's it, five eggs. That's about the smallest clutch you're gonna get from a corn snake for sure. One little slugger, but never Nevertheless, that is a beautiful female. These babies are gonna be cool as heck. So we have sour pickle balls here. Uh, what do you think? I don't like pickles, so hopefully. You don't like just... pickles? No. Oh, then this is gonna be perfect for you. Yeah. So uh, it wouldn't let you guys do it together? I don't wanna do it. Uh, oh, just, you're just, just doing it? Done. You're just well, doing it? It's gonna be Anthony. I'll, I'll, I'll pop one in my mouth. Do you have to do more than one at no, a time? No, you have to do all four. You have to do all four. All right. All right, Mike, Just let's do this. Minutes. They're hard candy. Come on, Mike. Stop, no, they're not stop hard crying. Hard. They're soft. More, less crying, more action. 
Yeah, you have to do yeah. all four? Smell. Yeah, do all four. Oh, see, look, look at this. Ooh, they He's smell like formaldehyde. Right right He's just going right Anthony's in. Anthony's going for it. No, you gotta get him in. Hurry up. Oh, Anthony's, oh. Hurry up. See, we did this and it was a great old time. But. <laughs> Mike I will likes be it. Mike likes it. So Ryan couldn't, <laughs> Ryan couldn't swallow him. I did. <laughs> Look at Mike. I'm isn't surprised doing too you're bad. like holding yeah. together as much. I was choking. <laughs> you gotta open your mouth for the camera. Tell me what it. Oh, oh. man. You guys' oh, teeth no. are just gonna be green for a week. <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty rough, right? You would expect You could spit be... it out of your I think you hit this tapping. Don't swallow it. Don't, don't, swallow, <laughs> don't, don't swallow it. Alright, go. Yep. Yeah. 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 Uh, so you, you swallowed it, huh? They're so bad. Let's see your mouth. Let's see your mouth. <laughs> oh, oh my God. I need the water. Oh, too much. Uh, oh. Okay. <laughs> bravo, to, bravo to Mike. You don't get water for ten minutes. They no. tell you. Ten minutes. You gotta. Do I get paid? <laughs> pretty rough. Okay. All right. Good stuff. Good stuff. <laughs> It's been over a year that I've been bringing you guys this amazing opportunity, and I've been a fan of this company, of course, Raycon. I've been working with these guys forever and using these guys forever. This particular pair that I have in my ears right now, I've had for almost a year and a half, and I use them every single day. They're an amazing brand that's co-founded by Ray J. The everyday E25s are absolutely incredibly sounding. I mean, Raycon earbuds start at about half the price of other premium wireless earbud brands and sound just as amazing as other top audio brands. I mean, how can you complain about that? And every single person, I mean, hundreds of people I know have bought these through this offer and every single one of them have thanked me. You know, summer's coming, right? Spring is here, the weather is great. I love being out in nature. I'm gonna be walking around, listening to my favorite podcast, music, stuff like that with these guys and with their noise isolation, it just makes it absolutely incredible. You can get out of things and listen, disconnect from wires. I mean, nobody wants wires on their earbuds these days. The other great things about the everyday E25s is that they last about six hours on one charge and in this little carrying case right here that is super super cool you can actually charge up to four times so you plug this in and then you just throw these in here four times that's 24 plus hours you're gonna get without having to worry about any plugging event I'm talking and I have a feeling it's longer than that because I've, I've went a month sometimes without charging these guys and I listen to them every single day listen Snoop Dogg Mike Tyson. Guys, I absolutely love them. They are fans of Raycons, and I know you will be too. And now they actually come in a bunch of different colors and patterns. They have different size inserts for your ears so that they fit really comfortably. Trust me, guys, you will love this. And right now, not only are they great price, but you can save 15%. Click the link in the description or go to buyraycon.com slash Brian B to get your 15% off your order. That's right. Buyraycon.com slash Brian B and you could save 15% off already really good price. And I tell you what guys, I promise you, you will not regret this. Go ahead, get yourself some everyday E25s. You are gonna thank me for it, I promise you that. Guess where I'm at. Well guys, the clutch that I am so, so, so excited about happens to be this girl right here. And this is actually the Lori Leopard Ball Python that has actually produced the Super Lori Leopards, right? But that's not what laid today. She's gonna lay within the next day or two. What did lay today is this girl here, which is another Lori Ball Python that's bred to another Lori combo that I'm very excited about. So there could be some Super Lori combos in this clutch. And it looks like Mama's a little bit upset at me right now. I haven't even touched her. And she's always like, you wanna come get these eggs? I'm going, I'm going to fight you, you know what I mean? So anyways, I'm going to go ahead and let her be alone for a second, set up to make boxes, come back and pull this lorry clutch. I'm telling you what, the lorry project is blowing up right now, and this has got some potential for some cool babies. So let's go and see if mama's gonna be cooperative with me. Like I said, she definitely was a little bit hyper. It's okay, mama, it's okay. Not an absolutely huge clutch of eggs, but still a beautiful clutch. And again, that Lori project, like I mentioned, is really blowing up and people are really loving it, which is great because I think it's absolutely amazing. The super stuff is so cool. So I'm just gonna slowly get these eggs out of here really quick. Mama's being good. Although she looked like she wanted to fight me at first, now she's actually calmed down pretty well. So I'm gonna get this clutch. Oh, got one. 
leg out here, put this thing in. Absolutely ginormous. Oh, here she comes. I spoke too soon. Now she wants to fight me again. Mama, I swear I'm gonna take good care of your eggs. Don't, don't, don't. I tell you what, it's always a little bit nerve wracking when a girl like that comes at you, that's for sure. Oh, see? She definitely is trying to come at me. So, all right, I'm gonna go ahead, get her cleaned up. Gonna get her some fresh water, get her feeding in the next couple days. We have two, four, six eggs. Now, when it comes to Lori to Lori, whether it's combos or not, you're looking at one in four odds for a super. So hopefully we get one or two supers in this clutch and then maybe some combos or some stuff. I'm telling you what, we're gonna have some cool Lori stuff this year and next year is gonna be absolutely ridiculous. That Lori project is gonna blow people's minds as we're actually getting it into different things, man. I am super excited about the future. So you you guys know that my dad surprised me with two Argus monitors and it took us a while to name them because I wanted to make sure that it was perfect. I was reading through some comments and somebody dropped the perfect pair of names for them. Do you know what they are? Uh, I have no idea. Cheech and Sean. So that's Cheech and this is Sean? Yeah, the big oh. one's Sean, the little one's Cheech. You gotta remember that. That's a good one. I tell you what, I grew up on Cheech and Chong movies, so yeah, that's, that's awesome, so good <laughs> good stuff. So Cheech, Chong, whoever did that, you did a great job, Thank that's so awesome. Much. So now it's just taming these suckers out, because man, it. they run around like crazy. I know, roll the clip. <laughs> This one says, please open on the vlog. And this is from Sparta, Michigan. So, so that was a Michigander. All right, here we go. What do you think? What's your guesses? I <laughs> you have no guesses? No. I think it's gonna be a model airplane. Okay, there's the guess. What do we got? Oh, it's a, oh, it's a puzzle. You love puddles. It's I love puddles. I love puddles. I love Wait a second, puddles. whoa, 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 whoa. It's Perdita. Oh! It's freaking Perdita. We talked about doing a Perdita puzzle. Oh my gosh, this is dope. So oh. he took this picture of Perdita he and told you it would make a neat jigsaw puzzle. Oh my he god. He said it sounded neat, so they had it made. Oh my god, Dale and Cher, Cher? Dale and Cher? Yeah. Dale and Cher, thank you so much, of course, from Sparta, Michigan. So uh, we got to put it together. This yeah. is going to be dope. This is awesome. Uh, I would say roll a time lapse, but we're not doing it today. But when we do it, we'll roll a time lapse. And obviously, this is the way we're going to keep this boa constrictor just for the quarantine period. I mean, just kind of really aesthetically as mild as we can, just because we want to make sure that we can keep a really close eye on everything. We want to first preventively treat for mites. Secondly, we want to just keep an eye on everything. It's stool, everything like that over its quarantine period. And by the way, you guys may like to know, I decided to name this guy Julia Squeezer. That's right, Julia Squeezer. And by the way, uh, speaking of Reptile Army earlier, uh, we are going to actually have some merch with Julia Squeezer in it because I just think that That'll be really cool. So definitely go to reptilearmy.com and uh, keep an eye for that. That should be pretty awesome. This girl here is actually a pinstripe ball python. Looks like she's got a really nice clutch eggs. I do see one little slugger and a little boob egg in there, by the way. And uh, she was actually bred to this black pewter cypress. Again, this is the combo that I get all those really purple snakes that basically don't have any pattern. Absolutely incredible. So let's go ahead, see how many eggs she has after we set up an egg box. And let's go ahead and see how many eggs mama has. Like I said, looks like a really nice beautiful clutch she's definitely not happy with me right now just slowly get up look at that it looks like really she just got done laying because if you could see this egg right here see you can actually see the embryo almost right through it network and vein that only happens right after I mean within 20 30 minutes it will harden up and look like these other eggs so this is as fresh of a clutch as you'll absolutely get so I'm gonna go ahead and put that one right down there and then slowly get the rest of these eggs out and it should come out pretty easy and I gotta be careful about mom over here because she's coming for me there's no doubt about that she's like don't you cake those eggs come on mom okay oh god Ah, she's gonna bite me. Oh, don't. I just gotta get him, gotta get him, gotta get him, gotta get him, gotta get him. Gotta get, him. get this little boob egg here. Look at that boob egg right there. I mean, that is definitely perfect example of a boob egg. There's no doubt about that. And I'm just gonna slowly try to get these other eggs out of here. I might have to take a couple off anyway, so I think I'm gonna do it that way, just so that it actually doesn't roll around on me. And I might be able to get the rest of them now. Get them up oh, into the egg box like this. That's so many eggs. It barely fits in the egg box. Look at this. Who doggy, I tell you what. All right, I'm gonna pull this one last egg off here because of course I can't shut the lid like that. And 
put that in there. We've got two, four, six, eight, 10, 11 good eggs and one bad egg. That's a 12 egg clutch, but 11 beautiful good eggs. Mama, you did an amazing job. I'm sorry, I'll get her all cleaned up, ready to go get her feeding back on track. That is amazing. And again, could be some purple snakes in there. It's gonna be amazing. God, egg cutting season is coming soon. I hope that you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, here is a playlist of a bunch of snake eggs like crazy like we had last year. We're building it out again this year. On this side, you can do me a favor, hit that subscribe button. Really means a lot to me. Have an absolutely wonderful day, Reptile Army. Remember, be kind to somebody, and I promise I'm gonna see you guys tomorrow.